just opened uh, up the cabin and I got the heaters going. As you can see, this is not something I do every weekend. As soon as we get this place warmed up, uh, we're gonna break out some other video gear, hopefully grab the Tesla and bring that out a little later. So stay tuned. I just wanted to share a couple of things as I get ready to go out and test drive my car on the ice. Uh, today's test drive will be a Tesla Model Y driving on a lake road, seeing how autopilot detects lake roads, seeing whether full self-driving will work in that environment, and also to test the traction of the winter tires on my car, which are rated very well for deep snow. We do have drifting snow out on the lake on uh, trails that are plowed, and we do have ice conditions also out on the lake. So we're going to give it a really thorough test drive today, starting and stopping distances, and see how things go. Uh, the lake we'll be driving on is Lake Vermilion, and this lake is actually about 20 miles from end to end. So it is a pretty large lake, but the section of the lake that I'll be on is on the east side and uh, the south end of the lake. So it's going to be a very limited section of the lake. I'm not driving across the whole lake, of course. First, we'll just do a quick autopilot check here to see how it well, how well it does on snow covered side roads. It's running right into the snow bank. That was not, that was not good. So obviously it has difficulty detecting where the edge of the road is. Um, it wants to put the car over onto the right side. That's not, not good. So I'm going to stop the car here so I can get the drone out and uh, get it up in the air. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. First test, I'm going to see if I can get autopilot to navigate on a nice road and uh, actually it's doing pretty well. So I've got the set speed at 20 miles an hour. It does detect the right edge of the plowed road and this is actually not a road as you can see on the map. We are driving in the middle of the lake, well in the middle of Stunts Bay. Uh, and it's holding us here towards the right side of this makeshift road. thinks the speed limit here is 25 miles an hour, which is kind of interesting because I didn't realize that we had a speed limit uh, out here on the lake. So it's having a little bit of difficulty determining what the road is, as you can see some veering and swerving as it's trying to negotiate this. But it is interesting to see that um, the cameras will detect where a road is. I did disconnect autopilot so I could make sure that the drone is at a safe altitude to follow us out. The interesting thing about northern Minnesota is we all really like to ice fish up here. So uh, as you see, we've got a nice little community of fish houses. It looks like our friend has plowed the, uh, the road out for us. That's very nice. Alright, so we're going to try uh, autopilot or full self-driving. 
actually it tells me it's not available here so it is not detecting road at least sufficient enough where it can can uh, allow us to drive so we don't have the little steering wheel on the top so we know that we do not have uh, auto steering capability available if I want to set cruise control normally I'd pull down once and it would allow me to maintain a set speed but uh, today that's also not available so that's a uh, it's a very interesting thing I've never driven this car in the lake before this is the first um, and in fact I, I haven't researched a lot of YouTube videos so I'm not sure if there are other people that are driving their Teslas on lakes or not. I'm sure there are a lot of videos out, but this is really a first experience for me. I did not know how this car would perform out here, and it's actually doing pretty well. So you can see we're, we're keeping the speed uh, relatively slow. It's about 25 miles an hour. And the snow drifts are starting to get a little heavier coming in. going to increase the speed a little bit just to get through this part of it. We're right up here on a snow ridge line and we cross that. Now we're back to an area that's been plowed. Right, we are back, back in action. don't think I would have made this without him plowing it. I mean, the tires are good and the clearance is good, but I have stock clearance. I don't have a lift kit on my Tesla. Uh, so I don't think that I have uh, the capability to be able to get through deep snow. <laughs> Look at this, he cleared it right up to the shoreline. This is awesome. I've got a little parking spot right here. This is completely amazing.
Well, it's really been an awesome weekend. I enjoy spending time with you guys. I enjoy posting these videos. If you find any value in them, please hit like and subscribe to the channel for more content. That's all I have for today, and we'll catch you on the next one.